I'm Dr. Roy Vandenbrink Budgen and I've been working in education for over 50 years and in the field of critical thinking since 1987. My work has included teaching students from early years to postgraduate and working with teachers at all levels in many countries in the world. I have produced national assessments in it, written many books and articles on it and have given presentations on it at many international conferences. When I was asked to produce teaching materials in critical thinking for Billabong High International School and to work with teachers at the school, I was delighted to accept this invitation. This was because it showed their understanding of the importance of critical thinking in students' learning and so achievement. So what is critical thinking? It's a set of skills in thinking, skills that enhance the learning and so performance in any subject. These skills include those of analysis, being able to see how reasoning is put together, to see order in complexity and to be able to look beneath the surface at what is being assumed and taken for granted. There are also skills in evaluation which enable the student to ask and to answer questions about the way in which evidence is used, how positions are supported, how claims are given significance. There's also creative thinking. This can be seen as possibility thinking as we look for possible explanations for evidence at ways in which items of evidence could be connected and that how evidence could strengthen or weaken a position. There's also the skill of being able to produce good reasoning, making a well-organised and strong case for something. In learning and applying the skills of critical thinking, students also develop positive thinking dispositions. These include being fair-minded, being flexible in their thinking, being persistent in seeking results and trusting in reason. These dispositions are especially important in these days of information and commentary being available on countless sites, not all of which are reliable and trustworthy. As with any skill development, such as learning a musical instrument or becoming more proficient at a sport, it is most productive to start young. There is no reason why students at the beginning of their school life should not be learning and using the skills of critical thinking. Young children have an openness to such skills as possibility thinking, since because they can be adventurous in the way in which they see the world, they don't necessarily consider that this could be risky thinking, such that an answer might not fit. In learning the skills of critical thinking at an early age, they increasingly apply the skills to their work in all of the subjects they study. In this way, critical thinking isn't a sort of add-on to learning, but a set of powerful skills that continue to develop and be used. Teachers will not only be teaching critical thinking skills in special classes, but also infusing them into their subject teaching. This will enable students to practice and to refine these skills, increasing understanding and so performance. In this connection, there is evidence from a study by Cambridge University that students who are given courses in critical thinking perform better in examinations in their subjects than, any, than those who are not given such courses. This is regardless of what subjects they are studying. This is because they're able to apply their skills in thinking both rigorously and creatively to all aspects of learning. As a result, they're better able to solve problems, to reason well, to ask and answer productive questions, to consider what evidence might be or is telling them, and to bring together different aspects of a subject into a coherent whole. In adopting critical thinking in the curriculum, 
Billabong High International School have a clear link with the demand for employment skills, both now and in the future. According to the World Economic Forum, skills in thinking are top of the list for employers seeking workers both now and in the future. Analytical thinking is currently a core skill, it's considered a core skill, by more companies than any other skill, and that is followed by creative thinking. As the managing director of the World Economic Forum has said, there's a focus on and an interest in having people with analytical th thinking and people with creativity. Interestingly, the World Economic Forum forecast for the next five years will still see analytical thinking and creativity at the top of the skills sought by employers, with demand for creative thinking predicted to grow by as much as 73% over this time. These skills are valued so much in part because they are the least automated in the workplace. So it is clear that Billabong High International School is doing something very significant in bringing critical thinking into their educational programme. This is not just that students will learn more successfully, but crucially that they will be well equipped to flourish in the future world of work. As a result, they are to be strongly commended for their vision and commitment, showing, of course, what else but good critical thinking.